Hi, this is Todd Oltoff, and welcome to another weekly tip video. Today I'm going to look at an iOS and Mac application that makes working with HomeKit devices easier. As our number of HomeKit devices grows, we have more and more individual devices to manage. This is not really a big issue until you do something like change your router and need to reconnect all of your devices. Or you have that one device that just won't seem to connect and you need to uninstall the device and reinstall it to get it reconnected. This may be easy with things like plugs, but can be quite difficult when dealing with other devices like bulbs or garage door controllers. This is where HomePass comes in. HomePass is a simple application that stores all of your HomeKit devices. It stores all of the information you could need about each device and gives you a catalog that you can access either through the app or by exporting it to another Apple device. There also is a companion watch OS application also that makes it easy to get at those codes. So let's dive in and take a look at HomePass for HomeKit. So here we are over on the iOS App Store and this is HomePass for HomeKit. And it's an application that costs $2.99. It's a really great utility, as you'll see in a moment. Uh, this developer also makes other utilities. And so you can see over here, if we just tap on View, you can get these in a bundle. There are a number of utilities here that are available for HomeKit from this developer. So let's go ahead and just select Open. Now, as you can see, it's a very simple application. I have a sidebar over here where I have my home. So it'll give information on the home that I have and then my categories. And these are categories of devices. So things like outlets or lights, those will show up on the side. And then depending on what I select, it'll show the information on each of the individual accessories over here to the right. I do have the option to hide the sidebar. I also have the ability to add other accessories. If I come all the way over here and I tap on the plus, you can see that I have two options there to add accessories. An existing accessory is an accessory that is already located in HomeKit itself, or I can create a new accessory, and that'd be one that I have not added yet, where I can scan it right into the application here. So let's go ahead and do existing accessories just so you can see how it pulls in all of my HomeKit data. And you can see here, here's my home, and you can see the different accessories that I have here. It's got hubs, it's got my lights for the dining room, the entrance, the kitchen, the living room, the loft, my bedrooms. And here you can see all of the accessories that have already been added. And as I just scroll through these, you can see there's a number of them. And all I need to do is select one to add the accessory. And so let's go ahead and choose one of these. I'll go ahead and choose the outdoor plug. So I'll select that. And so this is an outdoor plug that I have in HomeKit, it's something I use over the holidays to control some of my lights on the outside. You can see that it gives a custom name up here. And then I also have a device name. And then I have my room that it's located in, and it's in my home and in the entrance area. And then I've got my HomeKit code there, the manufacturer, the serial number, if that's available, it sees the model number, and then the category, right? And this is an outlet. Then I have the option to take notes, or I can add a custom field of any kind. I can just develop whatever field I want there. And then there's the option here to identify the particular device. And this would be in cases where maybe the device will speak to you and let you know which device it is. So what I'm going to do is just show you up here. I can come in and put in a particular HomeKit code here, or I can also just scan it. And if I select this, it will bring up my camera to scan the device. And I'm going to show you what that looks like when we're adding a new one. Now, where this comes in handy is, again, for these HomeKit codes. And so I would need to go look at the device and on the back of the device, put in the codes. So let's just say I want to put that in. Let's put in a bunch of numbers. And then when I save it, it's going to add this to my accessories. And you can see there's the outdoor plug showing right here. You can see it's in the entrance area. I've got it in the category of outlets and it's in my home. And you can see my home is up here. So I can at any time go into this and select it. And then all of this information comes up for me. And for the times when I need to get the codes quickly, I can add a Siri action here to get the code or to copy the code. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive 
full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.